So Scott knows the format. We are using the random club generator. What Scott doesn't know is that that's his format. Scott's a plus seven. Oh, wow. Scott's a plus seven. I'm scratch. I need some type of advantage, but I'm still going to use one club. This is my one club. This is my adjustable one club that I could change it from a putter to a hybrid to a seven iron okay. to a pitching wedge, sand wedge, lob wedge. So I'm going to use this. You're using the random club generator. We might as well get started. Spin the wheel. Come on. Wow. Hole There's, one driver. We, go. we got a par four. It's about 430 yards. I'm using this. Scott's using the driver. Let's go. Okay, let's do the tee toss. May the best man win. Yours truly. Here we go. Okay, let's do this. Good luck. I actually like it, this hole. Try and get it up there as far as I can, and then a little pitch, a little Scottish run up. See how it goes. So I'm gonna put this on the hybrid setting. There's no driver setting. The lowest loft is putter. I tried that on the range and I could barely hit it. So I'm gonna go with hybrid for the majority of these like par fours, par fives off the tee. No idea how far it goes. So yardage will take me a couple holes to figure out how far everything's going. Honestly, we're just hoping for the best at this point. Where did you find that? Where did I find this? Where you find everything golf related, Instagram, baby. <laughs> Okay, I need a draw. This hole calls for a draw. Hope for the best. Turn, baby. Turn! All right. That went further than I thought it would. She's running. Good swing. I'll take that. Got it up to about like the 150. That felt pretty good. Oh God. Yeah, that'll work. Go, baby. Yeah, sorry. It was hell of a first swing. Thank you, thank you. I don't know, I actually like that on this hole. So we're playing Country Hills, the Ridge in Calgary, Alberta. This is both of our home course. Both yep. Scotty and I play out here. This hole's super intimidating. There's a lot of people that play this hole that almost don't get it off the tee box. <laughs> so the fact that uh, my little trusty hybrid got us off uh, the tee, I'll take that. Two for two so far. How do you feel that I deceived you on the one club challenge? It's gonna be interesting. I think I'm okay for right now. We'll see what happens if I get a lob wedge coming up or something else. How'd you hit that fucking... That was far, that rolled for <laughs> Hey, you like that? How far did that? So that hybrid went 254. The thing ran a mile. It probably only carried 190. It's about 60 yards of roll. I am gonna shoot the pin. The problem is I have no idea how far these settings go. 122 front pin. There's a bit of a ridge. There's a ridge behind the hill, so I can probably hit it as far as like maybe 134-ish. 122 would be normally like a sand wedge for me, so why don't I try to put this on a sand wedge setting and see if I can get it that far. Sand wedge. I assume sand wedge is S. S. The weird thing about this club is how long the grip is. Because you use a hybrid and then a sand wedge, like I'm gonna be choking down a ton all day. You have Bryson DeChambeau it. Okay, 122. Oh, be good. good. Be good. Come back. Come back. I'll take that. Honestly, I'll take that. Oh boy. I'm interested to see the putter setting on this. I was thinking of that. Like, I don't know if I want to maybe just like keep it lofted and put it on the sand wedge and try to putt just like hitting the blade or if I want to actually try to hit it square with the putter mallet. Find out. Yep. Nice drag, you sick fuck. What is that, 400 yards? So the only time I think I've hit a 60 yard driver is if I hit a tree and it comes back at me. <laughs> So this is gonna be a little chip shot. Came off a little bit left. Not your best. Not terrible, but I was trying to kinda. I knew that was gonna happen, a 60 yard drive. Like who knows how to hit a 60 yard driver <laughs> shot. <laughs> so anytime Scotty and I play together, the loser always buys a jug of beer. So that's the stakes today. Loser is buying beer after the round. Advantage, <laughs> Brando. <laughs> These greens are fast today too. Are they fast? Or now, yeah. So Scott already played this morning. He said the greens are rolling really fast. So I'll take his word for it. I got a downhill putt. This club didn't spin at all. Like for a lob wedge setting, the ball like didn't come back, didn't go forward. I'll kind of take where the ball went. But I know this is gonna be a really fast putt. It's okay. 
Not terrible. I think a par is gonna have. He's got a bit of a tough putt coming up, but I this is a this is a touchy touchy thing. This is a great game or good thing to develop. I think short game skills. Trying it for the first time. Give it a go. Oh, sit hit the hill. Come back. That's pretty good considering. Thank you. Are there gimmies in this about uh, club length? Uh, when I tell you it's good, I think. <laughs> you want it out? Um, I th I'm gonna leave it. Okay. Have you ever putted with a driver before? Never. I've putted with a hybrid. I did a three club challenge where I putted with a hybrid and I think I putt better with a hybrid than I do my putter. So this has a putter setting, P. But when I look at it, like it's so flat. Like I don't, I, I think I might be better off putting it on like a, like the nine iron setting and just trying to like hit it with the leading edge is, is what I think I'm gonna do. Downhill, I got it right to left. And it should be quick. Whoa. All right, some testers. A little putt off. I would say inside the leather, but he's got a driver and I have this. I think it's discretionary. Yanked it. That's good. Thank you, sir. I have a chance. If I could go one up on Scotty through hole one, that would be the advantage that I need to lead this match on. Got this left center. Maybe just dead center. Nice. One up. Oh boy. Let's go. This match is set for only five holes. So far, I'm one up, four to play. I was thinking of not even bringing my bag. I was going to say, you should just put that in the back. Like if we were walking, I would have just slapped this over my shoulder. At least you got the driver out of the way. I'm kind of glad that you got driver. So is that now canceled out? I think so, yeah. Okay. So I would say that if the random club generator goes on driver again, we'll just exit it. and put another club in play. Spin again. Yeah. This is kind of an ode to Bob Barker, I think, is it not? R.I.P. Bobby. All the sick kids know what we're talking about. Oh, so true. Is it sad that I know Bob Barker originally from Happy Gilmore and not The Price is Right? Yeah. That is kind of sad. So some of you might have been confused at the start when I said that Scott was a plus seven handicap. That doesn't mean Scott's a seven, not like he average shoots seven over par. It's the other way. If scratch is zero, Scott is seven better than scratch. He played on the Canadian tour. He played on the Asia tour. He just set the course record at Wolf Creek in Mesquite, Nevada. What'd you shoot at Wolf Creek? 62 there. It's a good day. We'll 62. Prophecy. How are you? <laughs> that's how good this guy is. So that's why I get a little bit of an advantage. I'm one up through two. We're looking at a par four. Let's find out what club you got. Come on, baby. Big money. Oh, three wood. We went driver three wood. All right. This hole is a 370 yard par four. That's kind of a tough pin tucked behind a bunker. Best of luck with the old uh, three wood, that's for yeah. sure. Yeah. So to be one up through one couldn't go better for me, to be honest. The fact that he drew three wood again sucks for him. If I can get another par, I, I would bet par is good on almost every hole. Okay, that hybrid setting worked out really good on the last hole. I'm gonna use hybrid again. There's bunkers, right side and left side. I don't think I can hit the far bunkers on the left side, so I'm kinda, I hope to aim at them and it just cut right off of those. Oh, go hard. No, oh, that no, looks pancake. no. <laughs> okay. 250 to clear that last bunker on the right. I'm thinking now that I see Brando's ball, he might have a little bit of uh, issues with the sand up there. So I might go for it and then try and chip up on the green, hopefully two putt. And like he said, par's gonna take her. So good. Perfect. All right. There's some wind up there. That's exactly where I was trying to put it. <laughs> I'm so screwed. I should tell you guys, this is called the Q Golf Club. If you think you want to pick one of these up, I'll put a link in my description of this video. Kind of cool to play a whole round of golf with one club. Back to my god awful lie. I'm screwed. I got about 160 to the middle with that lie. I basically have to just get it out and hope for the best. So I'm going to put this on the, what setting should I put it on? I'm going to put it, it's got a nine iron setting. So I'll put it on the nine and see if I can at least just get it out of the sand, I think, and try not to break the club 
through impact. Good out. I'll take that. I was honestly concerned that I was gonna smoke my club right into the lip and it not come up. So I think that's a win considering my lie. I'm thinking that, you know, I just gotta get up on that throat. Anywhere on the green is A plus, I think, in my books. Not so worried about distance so much as I am dispersion. So I'm trying to miss these two bunkers at the front. I'm okay not aiming at that pin, obviously. Got about 89 to the front edge. Stay there. Sit. Oh, sit. Sit. Oh, it Ooh. stayed. Got lucky with that one. Like literally an impossible angle. There was no way for him to get it at the pin. I think that was the right play. Try to bleed it up the middle. It just yep. kind of got away from you. I got 91 yards to the middle. The first hole I hit this on the sand wedge went 120, it went behind the pin. It went about almost 125. This has a lob wedge setting, but when I look at it, like I can see the leading edge come off the ground. So I think I'm gonna try to put it back on the sand wedge setting and just try to hit it like a 50% three quarter shot. If I could get to the middle of the green, I'm confident in a bogey. And I don't know if Scott's gonna two putt from where he is. My God, I got choked down so low. 91. Go. Go. I'll take that. I bet you that's pin high. Stop moving. I kind of hit it right where I said that I wanted to. So that's good to know. Half swing, 90 yards. He's getting yardages, I like it. Smart, he knows how far the club's going and that's only going to play to his advantage, I think. I just have to not plug my tee shot into the <laughs> first four inches of the bunker. You're looking all right. Well, this is kind of a bitch of a green as is. You're pin high, so that was actually a pretty solid three wood. It's just tough to chip. I don't know how to stand. If it should be open, if it should be kind of normal or... I don't think anyone knows how to chip with a three wood. <laughs> We'll have to ask any one of you guys watching, any of you guys trip with a three-wood? Especially in Scotland. I'll take that shot. Like, that was pretty decent. So now if I can two-putt this, I bet you that will tie, if not win, depending on what Scott does here. No. Sit. Sit. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. <sighs> Simmer. Came up a little hot. So I think I'm gonna put it on that nine iron setting and then again, try to just hit it with the, uh, with the leading edge instead of using the putter setting. I got a right to lefter. This is gonna turn, I bet you about like three feet, three and a half feet. I just need the pace. The pace is the important part. Oh, I pulled it. Sit, sit, sit. I'm kind of debating if I should hit this normal or uh, a little bit of a blade. I don't know how it's gonna come off. Do it. Try it. Ooh, <laughs> woo. What do you think? Good, good? Yeah, let's do it. Good, good for a tie? Yeah. All right. Okay, we're gonna do good, good. Move on to the next hole. I'm still one up through two. Made it, just to prove that you could do it. I'm not gonna do that, because if I'm gonna miss, it's gonna hurt my ego. Well, the good news is for you is that you only have irons left. Yes. Like what club do you think you would use if we were just doing like a straight one club challenge, no spinning wheel? I was thinking about that today. I was, I'd say about a six iron. Six? Yeah, I like that. I just think with uh, a lot of the holes, you know, you just hit 200 yards off the tee, 200 in, kind of leaves you with full shots. The thing that scares me with those is if you hit like greenside bunker. Then it's like, how are you going to hit a greenside bunker exactly. <laughs> out of, uh, or with a six iron? I'm just hoping not for a lob wedge for this uh, par five. <laughs> <laughs> so the woods are out of the way. Woods are out of the way. So hopefully you don't get screwed and get like a lob wedge or sandwich here. Hoping for like seven, six, five iron. Four? Four iron. Okay, that's decent, par five. Take it, 500 into the wind. Okay, we got a par five, it's 490, smack into the wind, it's gonna play long. I'm still gonna play hybrid off the tee. Scotty has that four iron, so he's gonna be near-ish the green. Which, could he be near the green? I don't think so. I think it's gonna be a three club shot for him. That's what I think. Three shot hole is what I meant. Okay, no more fairway bunkers. What's the setting now? Gonna keep it on that hybrid. Yep. Right side's relatively open, left some fairway bunkers come into play. So if I could be right center, like that would be perfect. Hold on, hold on. <sighs> Brandon, is there a tree setting on there? 
I said right was okay and I hit it further right than I wanted to, so I'm somewhere in the middle of a bunch of trees. All right, baby. That was not a good swing, but it should be all right. Good bounce. Scotty normally hits his four high, or his four iron like 220-ish, and we're so far into the wind that went about 190. Yeah. It's like 30 yards of hurt is uh, a lot of wind. And this, I think this is a good challenge because it makes you think for a lot of game management stuff, right? So I don't know if I should hit it 100 yards and then 200 in, or if I should just whack it up there and then chip it up. I'm gonna try something different this hole. I'm gonna chip it up here on this shot, try and leave myself about 190 so I can have a nice 200 into the wind and then uh, have a full shot in at least to the green here. It's gotta go a bit. That was strategy? Strategy, yeah. Interesting. I'm in the middle of the trees, which was not plan A. I still have 230 in. This has a seven iron setting. I got a gap. I'm gonna go kind of towards the cart path and then hopefully have just like a sand wedge coming in. That's kind of the play. So if I can hit it like 150-ish, kind of like a seven iron punch is what I'm, what I'm hoping for. Oh no. It's all right. <laughs> this club comes out so far right. That was nowhere near my line or intended line. Oh, that's frustrating. It's gonna be a lot, a lot longer shot coming in than I had hoped. All right, so I kind of laid up a bit of strategy play. I got 194 left, so pretty much exactly what I wanted. I'm gonna play about 20 yards of wind today. Let's see what happens. Go, stay there. Oh, if that's in the bunker. There's a lot of sand in there. It's gonna be a tough shot. I would chirp him, but I have about zero confidence of me hitting the green <laughs> in this one with this club. Got 160 right at the pin. Normally I'd play a nine iron, but because there's so much wind, I'm thinking it's gonna play like 180. So I'm gonna keep it on that seven iron setting. There's a bunch of garbage right. I'm gonna try to stay left. Oh no. Well, this might be your hole. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. It's up by the cart. <laughs> that went so much further than I was expecting. So much further right. I thought that was going to go in the water. I think I cleared the water by 20 yards. It's going to be a tough shot. <laughs> that was so bad. You're safe. I cannot believe how far that went. It's not over till it's over. I honestly thought that was just going to flare right into the water. But you have a short sided up and down with a four <laughs> iron. So I think we're both in just as much trouble. Let's see what we can do. Best of luck. It's honestly so bad. Like I'm 30 yards over the green in the shale. I have to get over a rock bed, over a sand trap, to the pin. Like, good luck. Oh, sit. Sit. I thought this was going to be an advantage, but it almost feels harder. <laughs> I should have just played the same game Scott's playing. Seen a few videos of guys just opening it way up. Sit, sit, sit. It's not looking good. I'm sorry to say, but that's like exactly what I needed Scott to do for me to have a chance. I think I've lost count how many shots I've taken. One is a T, two, three, four, this is five. I'm gonna put it on the sand wedge setting. If I could get up and down, like that would be pretty sick. Oh no, and then you do that. Putting, have a chance. Sit. Sit. It's okay. Oh, and that's the trouble using that leading edge. I got right under it. Oh, mm. try. Thanks. Are you doing the leading edge? Yeah. Yeah, I tried the last time I got right under it. Similar there. Is that good? Yeah. And the bleeding. 
So, what'd you make? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. That's a triple. So this is a, a must make. All right, Attaboy. here we go. It's not every day, not every day that a double <laughs> wins the match play, but I played that about as worse as I could. We're all square through three. We've got a shortish par four coming up. All square. Hard to believe a seven was good in uh, match play, <laughs> but you'll take it, I know that. We're looking at a 366 par four, little dog leg left, water right. I gotta figure out how to hit that fairway, that's for sure. Okay, let's see what Scotty Seeks is gonna use. Hybrid. You got a hybrid? I do got a hybrid. Okay. All these long clubs so far. You yeah, play. I was really expecting you to have like a seven iron yep. or an eight iron, a wedge, but we're going through all of your long clubs and that was not planned, <laughs> that's just the random generator. Tate's taking my tea. I'm not used to going first, I guess. Oh yeah, it's your box, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm so frazzled from my triple bogey, I don't know where I am, I don't know what day Ooh. is it. What sport are we playing? I think I'm gonna go with the strategy, just trying to hit it up as far as I can on this one. That one didn't really work out how I wanted to last time. Soft. It's a good swing. Gonna stick with that hybrid setting. The cut has been failing me, so I think I might try to draw this one. That's what I tried to do on one and it stayed in play. So I'm gonna try to draw this. That'd be best case scenario. Get up, get up. Oh my God. Might be wet. Confidence, all time low. I was really expecting this club to be working in my favor and so far it really hasn't been. I think with the regular shaft, it's going a little right on you because of the flex. Right, yeah, that makes sense. Playing the cut. Oh, we're live, let's go, got a swing. Here we go. Okay, we stayed up, but barely. This hole's so short, it's only not even 400 yards and I still have 210 coming in. <laughs> That's how bad that tee shot was. I think I'm gonna try to hit the, oh God, the hybrid setting. If I could get up by the green, I think I could maybe save bogey. Let's hope for the best. Oh, oh be good, good swing. Be good. A little hot, I think back bunker. That was pretty good. It might have, there's a bunker through the green. I'd be surprised if it made it there, but that was like the exact line that I wanted to hit it. So we'll find out. We'll see if the second cam get it, got it. I don't know how good, if it's good or bad. Got a hundred to the pin, about 75 to the front. That 275, uh, Brandon, I think is in the back bunker. So I'm just gonna try and get this up the throat, try and make a par, getting a little bit more comfortable with this wood chipping. So let's give it a go here. Go. Keep going. I'm okay with that. It's I know good, it's short, but it's a good angle. Yeah. Scott has been getting screwed on the angles of his tee shots. It seems like every angle that he has, there's a bunker in front of a pin with a hybrid, he can't get it up and soft 100 yards. So for him to play with a line to the pin is really good course management. All right, see him, Brandon. He's kind of on the edge there. Um, I think with his Q club, he'll be able to get that on the green, probably two putt. So I'm gonna try and get this somewhat close and try and make the par. Seems like par is a good score, especially with one club. Came out hotter than I thought it was going to. To be 220 from where I was and get like up near the green, I think is pretty good. Soft. Oh, a little bit hard. I think it's good enough right now. Let's see what uh, Cubit can do. I think I'm gonna try to use the lob wedge setting. This club has so much bounce. Like look at the entire amount of bounce on this club. I'm hoping I can get something high and soft. Do I have faith in it? Not really. <laughs> I was considering even just like putting through the sand, but I want to try to treat it like a real sand shot. So I'll try to splash it up. The problem is I can't stand in the sand. Whoa. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the play was there. Tough lie. 
Scott and I pretty much have the same distance putt. He's maybe a little bit closer. If I can two putt, I have good faith in us tying. Since I had such poor success not using the putter setting on the last hole, I'm gonna use it now. I'm gonna try to hit it square flush in the center of the face like I would a putt. And uh, hopefully I have better distance control, better contact using uh, this setting. I got it going a little bit right to left. Yeah, this is just so intimidating looking at something that flat. It's like I'm looking at a one iron is, is what it looks like. Set. Oh God. Does it feel hot off the face? That, so I, I put it onto the putter setting. Yeah. Did it feel hot? It did, it did feel like super hot. Yeah. But like looking at it, like look at this. It's like a one, it's like looking at a one iron, right? Oh yeah. I think this putt's a little straight. Watching it come through. Hit it off the leading edge just because it has been hot off the woods. I know Cubit's got about a 10 footer, so I'm trying to give it a good roll and make the par. Gotta go. Oh, do it. Do it. Oh my God, you're disgusting. <laughs> that was so sick. Thank you, sir. Thank oh. you, thank you. Okay, I wasn't banking on him making that. I thought if anything, I had to make mine. That was a disgusting par with the hybrid, which puts you one up with one to play. I will have to win the par three to go even. If I do go even, we'll go into extras. That was a disgusting putt, you sicko. Thank you, sir, thank you. I thought for sure you were gonna two putt that and then I had a chance, but you're one up. Okay, I'm Dormy. One down with one to play. This is a par three, pin is tucked back left. It's playing about 190. It's gonna be huge to see what club C chord gets, hopefully it's a lob wedge or something. <laughs> and then I have a chance at maybe sneaking out a par. Let's find out what you're hitting. Here we go. Mm. Pitching wedge, I needed that. I needed some help. Scott's hitting pitching, pitching wedge. wedge. I got 190, I think I'm gonna hit like that seven iron. Whew. Your boy needs this. Feeling pretty good after that par. One thing I was gonna tell Brandon, but didn't on the par five was when you're putting with a leading edge, I find it's helpful to kind of actually start at the equator and not start low just so you can hit it nice and smooth and just like a putt. Um, so if you ever break your putter or have to putt with a wedge, that's something that I would advise to do. So we got pitching wedge, 190. I'm gonna try and get this up as big as I can. Thankfully the wind is a bit down. Anywhere on the fairway is good. I had to change balls to get some good juju here. The last one's letting me down. Gonna throw in uh, a Callaway Chromesoft X. Wind's still picking up. I like my chances against his pitching wedge, but he's so good that he'll probably just hit like fairway, put it to a couple feet, and then make the putt. So, hoping I can hit the green from the tee shot. That's a good leave. Thank good you. angle. Good leave, good angle. Okay, I put this on the seven iron setting, which is about typically how far my uh, seven iron would go is about 190, which is exactly the pins plane. My iron, when I hit, has been leaking right. So I'm gonna aim left with the expectation that it comes back right. Of course, that's all in theory, so let's see if I can uh, execute. Imagine getting a hole in one with this club. Hmm. Well, it went right. Cover. Cover. Okay. Yeah. Good bounce. Pin high, went way further right. I was too scared, there's a sand trap left. I was scared to commit to swinging at the sand trap because I didn't want to short side myself. That was the last thought that went into my head right before I swung. <laughs> if I could get a two putt in here, I could, uh, could push extras. This club actually goes, eh? Oh my God, it flies. Like there's so much weight behind this and it's long. It's basically the length of, I think like a hybrid. It's a pitching wedge for reference. So what is that? Two inches? Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> yes, yeah, same size. So good angle here, I got about 50 yards. I like the position I'm actually in. I can actually attack a pin for once. I'm just gonna, I got a pitching wedge, of course, and I'm just gonna land this on the front, try and run it up and uh, leave a good putt for par. You can see that the pin is on a bit of a ridge. So when I kind of see something like this, I know if it goes short, it's gonna probably come back. So I wanna miss long. You can see there's a bit of a ball in the back. So all I really want to do here is uh, make par and close Brandon out. So I am pretty happy with the distance. I'm pin high, well right. I knew I was going to miss right, but to be pin high, like I'll take that. Scott is so good that I would say that he gets this within 15 feet from where he is. I don't think he'd normally use a pitching wedge, but like I said, he's so good that I anticipate him having a makeable par putt, 
which means I, in turn, have to get aggressive. So I'll try to get it uh, close to make that par. It's gonna go a little to the left. Go. Oh. Nice shot. Thank you, did it stay? So very close. You see that ridge right there? I was nervous it was gonna actually come back, but thankfully it was enough to get it up there and uh, let's go make a putt. I knew he would put something up there makeable. Um, I'm kind of in between chipping and putting. I like my chances better um, using that putter. So I'm gonna try to keep it on the grass, use the slope, roll it up there, and hopefully I can uh, make it par. Nice shot. This is gonna break. So I gotta play it relatively pretty high up that hill. Maybe a full flag stick right of the pin. Whoa, 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 wow! All right, not bad. Got a putt. I can't believe how much that released. Halfway there, I didn't think it was gonna get there. And then it got to the pin, I'm like, oh my God, stop. <laughs> at least I have a look at it. If I can make this, put the pressure on him. Scotty misses, then we're going extras. I miss, he makes, it's over. Go! Oh my god, I said it can't be short. What do I do? Shoot! All right, got to give this a go. Try and get two pars in a row here. A little left to righter. Had a kid. Thank you, sir. Never a doubt. I had a feeling. Appreciate it. Fun to watch. Thanks for the ass kicking. Okay, guys, that wraps up the one club challenge with Scotty Seeks. Seeks was only four over using his driver three wood hybrid four iron pitching wedge. Pitching wedge, yeah. Solid. I was this many over par, <laughs> not so great. It's fun to watch, you're so good. I thought I had the upper hand with that Q club. Was not the case. We'll have to do a rematch sometime. Thanks yeah. for coming on the channel. I appreciate it, buddy. Thanks I owe beer, me. let's go drink. Thanks for watching this video. We'll check in with you guys next time. Heck of a round, buddy. Cheers. Cheers. Good plan.